Gosler's doing great on retrieve, and I saw this early on on this dog that this dog was going to be a good retriever, and he is. He's already accomplished what he needs to do to go home, which is pick up keys and spin into heel. So we're still working on the Frisbee because this is going to be something that this dog and the owner can use with this dog, sort of like power. Bowser lives with two kids. So if the kids have the Frisbee in the hand, right, they're not really bribing the dog, but they certainly aren't going to throw the Frisbee unless Bowser's at sit. Do you understand? It will make it easier for the children. And we want to make sure that one, that Bowser sees the children as something positive, but that something that's positive, you know, that they're human beings, they're still in charge of the situation. So this Frisbee could be helpful for that. Now, one thing about the Frisbee and Bowser is that he can't catch it in the air yet because he's not fast enough. He's, he's still a baby. He is, this is a very young dog. He's like four and a half months old. So he doesn't have enough speed to catch it. But if I hold it out and tell him to go for it, he will sort of jump, he'll jump up for it and get it in his mouth. But we have to increase drive with him. And one of the ways that we do that with the young dog is just by doing retrieves. And when I do retrieves with the dog like this that can't really catch it yet, and also there is sort of a problem, not really, he can pick it up if it falls this way right on the ground he can't pick it up but it's easier for him to pick it up like this so we throw it upside down at first and get it so i'm going to speed it up again now he doesn't have to wait here drop pretty much i'm working on him dropping it and not mouthing it come on buddy <coughs> come on here good boy drop get it You got it, Bows. Come on, buddy. Here. And then we're getting success. We're increasing drive. He likes it. Bowser, you like this, right? He loves it. So he's doing good retrieves. If, if I had a, a a puppy bumper or something, same, same distance, man. He's doing 20 feet, 25 feet, and he's bringing it back to me. Off leash, meaning he's dragging the leash and he has an e-collar on but he's bringing it back to me. At times when I do this, I may have Bowser do uh, push-ups. Down. Sit. Good boy. Down. Bowser, sit. Okay. Come on, buddy. Come on, here. Good boy. You know, sit down, sit down. Sometimes I might just throw it and he doesn't even have to wait. Sometimes I might make him sit. This would be a typical session that I would do with a young dog like this. This is the youngest dog that I've taught Frisbee to. Remember, Hanu was the last dog I taught Frisbee to, but Hanu was a month and a half, two months older and an Australian cattle dog. Labradors, Labradors. They're dopey puppies for a long time. So they're just not physically as, you, do you understand what I'm saying? Some terriers, by the time they're six months, sort of like they lose that puppy gait and they're like walking like an adult. The Australian cattle dog's the same thing. It's just more physically acting like an adult quicker. I'm not saying he won't catch the frisbee. He just might not catch it while he's here, but he can definitely do retrieves. He's awesome. Down. Bowser, get it. Come on, buddy. You got it. Good boy. So it will be a short time. If he if he doesn't catch it, which he might not, honestly, he's very young. He might not catch it while he's here. It'll probably be a very short time after he goes home that he catches it with his dad. But he loves it. He loves it. He sees this as, as something that's fun. One other thing is... I, I'm using a different weight frisbee. This is this is heavier. This is heavier. We want him to do this because we want him to really start grabbing on. So we're giving him a little bit more weight. We also will use the lighter one too. So this this would be a typical session working with a dog of this age or even a little bit older. He's doing retrieves. 
He's bringing the object to me. He knows that if he's going to play the game, he needs to bring the object to me. You know, everything, everything's good to go with this dog. Like, he's picking up keys. He's doing retrieves. He's awesome. Bowser, heal. <clears throat> sit. No, sit. That's denial. I'm, I'm telling him he needs to behave. I'm telling him I own this, and if you want to play with this, you have to play by my rules. Bowser, get it! Good boy, Bows. Come on, buddy. Good boy, Bows. Good job. Drop. Get it. Come on, buddy. Here. Good boy. Drop. One thing that I'm working on is I had the e-collar, and we're working on him dropping it. Here. Come on, buddy. Here. I don't want him mouthing the frisbee. No. Drop. This is sort of fun. I'm not even making him wait right now. It's not important. Good boy. Good boy. Drop. No, drop. Get it. <coughs> Good boy, Bows. Drop. No, drop. Get it. Come on, Bowser. Good boy. Drop. No, drop. Get it. Come on, Bows. Drop. Here, Bowser. Good boy, Bowser. Come on, buddy. Here. Nice. Drop. No, get a heel. Sit. Okay, get it. Bowser, here. It's nice. Drop. Sit. No, get a heel. Over here, buddy. There you go. Good boy. Get it. We're using the Frisbee as positive reinforcement here. Heel. No, heel. Sit. Notice how he sits right by my leg? Okay, get it. I'm not making him wait real long. That's not what we're doing right now. We're trying to increase drive. Here. Come on, buddy, here. <clears throat> sit. No, sit. 